So how to animate a bird inside of Cinema 4D? I'm actually going to show you an easier and a little bit more complicated way, but the technique is basically the same. We are just adding more details. So let's dive right into it. So you have your bird imported into Cinema 4D. By selecting the bird, click on character and select the joint tool. With this, while holding down control, you can start creating the bone structure for the animation. It doesn't have to be anatomically correct, but yeah, just do it somehow like me. Then when it's finished, select all the joints with the original bird model. And I usually deselect the null objects. It's actually not necessary. And then go to character and bind it together. This is going to create a skin, which we are going to deform later. Let's start animating. By selecting the first joint on your first joint structure, right click on it and select rigging tags and IK tag. This is what we are going to use for the simulation slash animation. Drag your end joint to the end panel, which is right now the joint 6, and go to dynamics and enable it. Set the gravity to 0 cm and play around with the strength, drag, position hold, rotation hold values until you get a nice floppy result. You can just copy my values here. Now when we have our dynamics set up, we want to animate it somehow. But we don't want to do it by hand because we are lazy. So let's right click on the null object and add an animation tags vibrate tag. Here you should check regular pools because right now we don't want anything random uh, with the wings flopping. You can also try that, but for me it is not giving any good results. So let's just keep it that way and enable the rotation value. Set everything to 0% and right now we only need the Z axis, which I set to 33%. You can also set the frequency as much as you want, the angle in which you want your wing to flap at, and you can go back and also still play around a little bit with the dynamics. I think we are getting somewhere. Just repeat the same thing on the other wing as well. Here basically everything is the same unless you want to have some variation in it, I don't know why. The only important thing to keep in mind is to keep your vibrate tags frequency the same on both wings because otherwise it's not going to look good. And right now we are basically ready with the basic mode. Uh, you have your wings flapping. If your bird is not really close to the camera, I don't recommend uh, animating all the legs, all the head, all the furs. It really doesn't make any sense. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Now let's move on to the little more complicated one. In this version we are going to also include the legs and the tail and right now I'm, I did not include the head but you can also rig up that one as well with the same technique. Now we are doing the exact same we've done before. Uh, we are just adding more joints for the tails and aligning them with the model. Once everything is lined up correctly and it looks good, you can just right click on your model, click select children, then go to character and bind them together. Animate the wings as I showed you already and also with the vibrate tag and the tweaking the dynamics. I want to create like a little bit uh, wind motion for the legs and for the tail as well. But we have a little bit of problem here. Our weight map, which uh, basically just shows us how a uh, joint affects the model or the skin, is not correct because our tail joint is also moving our wings as well, which we don't want because it's not, not looking good. So let's fix that. By holding down the Shift-C combination, you can search for the weight tool with which you can select the joints and see what uh, polygons and uh, which part of the model it affects. I select the joints which we had the problem with. By holding down the control, you can erase the parts you don't want to be affected. In the tool options, you can check and uncheck the vis visible only selection because uh, sometimes that can help, sometimes not. So we are cleaning up both of them and also checking the wing joints to make sure they affect the entire wing. After that, you can just hit play and I think we are getting a pretty nice flying bird effect. I know it's not perfect, but I think uh, if you add some compositing, some nice rendering, maybe you can also animate the head to add some more characteristics into the animation, maybe the bird looking around. I think we kind of simulated the bird flying. You can just play around with that. I showed you the basic technique. You can use these rigging techniques everywhere, basically. So it's uh, very important. I highly recommend just getting the feeling of it. So yeah, I hope you liked it and uh, see you in the next video.